can help me take some shots, ah. Whatever lah later you all share with me, okay? Hi everybody, welcome back to another session of Focus Point Facebook Live. So my name is Vivian and I'll be your host for today. Today we have a very special collaboration because we are actually working with Mia Care, as you can see here, Mia Care. And we are going to introduce to you the six new styles from their collection. So we have uh, three range available, the elusive, the gaze and the allure. So uh, this is something that is very exciting and I believe you may be very interested to know as well how makeup and contact lens can come together in terms of styling. So without further ado, let me also introduce uh, my special guest of the day, Miss Anne Wee. So Miss Anne is a celebrity makeup and stylist consultant. She has many years of experience working with uh, different astro programs and also cele celebrities from local and also international. So hi Miss Anne. Hi Vivian. Good to have you here. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. Okay, yes. so what do you have to share with us okay, today? Okay, so today I'm going to share with you three things, okay? The first thing is how you can further enhance your look with colour contact lens. Number two is how, what sort of type of lens should go, uh, you should choose, okay? And the third thing on how you can elevate that look further with, with makeup. makeup, right? Yes, correct. Okay, so let's discuss the first thing. Okay, the first thing is, what is the best color lens suitable for you? Okay, mm -hmm. so the general rule is for a skin tone, a warm skin tone person, you should go with a brown tone color lens. Like okay? a warm tone color yes, lens, right? Yeah, brown, more to brown tone. For a cool skin tone individual, you should go with the uh, more black and grayish tone lens color lens I see okay so okay. a lot of times many ask me warm tone uh, warm and cool how do I know which do I fall in do you have that yes and issue? actually I'm very confused sometimes I think I look more towards the warmer skin tone and there are most of the days where I feel like I look more like I have a cool skin tone and I always get very confused okay so one tip is actually very easy to identify whether you're warm or cool skin tone is actually to look at your veins on your wrist okay so under your palms your veins okay this portion right here, correct right? yes so as you can see as you can see here my veins are more to a greenish greenish color mine okay? seems to look a bit different though. yes yours mm -hmm. is actually blue purplish so for me greenish i am more i am a warm tone based individual I see. and you you are a cool tone based individual yeah so i hope that you all can see my veins as you can see it's a bit more bluish as compared to um ends and it really does have that a little bit of like purple undertone to it correct correct so for warm tone for a warm tone based person right you should actually go with contact lens from mia care that is in the elusive chocolate or hazel color and for a cool tone based individual is the range that you should choose is from allure and gaze okay so it's amazing how uh, contact lens can actually enhance your look so today i actually have a model with us uh, carmen and uh, welcome carmen hi carmen yeah so Good i'm to taking this opportunity here. I'm actually taking this opportunity to actually show you the difference um, with contact lens and without contact lens. So over here, Carmen has on her left side of her face, mm -hmm. already has the w hazel color contact yes, lens. Yes, I can see that um, on this side, her eyes are more defined in a way. Correct. So if you notice, the reason why we chose hazel color for her is because she is a warm tone based individual. Okay, okay, maybe if you see us side by side, you know, maybe you can sense you know, there is a difference in terms of skin tone. Yes. So, over here you can see that immediately with the contact lens, it actually, her look is already more radiant and outstanding. Okay. Her complexion is brighter and she is more energized on the left side. Just with the contact lens. Yes, itself, just right? with the contact lens. Okay. So now, with contact lens, I must say, Half the battle is already won. Sometimes, you know, on days that we we just don't want the 
put, you want to yes, elevate something, elevate right? that look just with contact lens you actually win half the battle however there are days where we want to uh, bring this to the next level to enhance it even further we will go for some makeup mm -hmm. okay so a lot so people are asking me with hazel color what eyeshadow should i put you know what yes. makeup so i'll do some demonstration yes. on her for example, some people may ask, you know, can you only do brown? Can you only do grey? So today we have Anne here and Anne is actually going to show, like, you know, perform her magic and show us how to do uh, styling and also makeup for Kaman. Okay, so okay. while we have that in session, um, I think it's time, you know, I want to do a very special giveaway for you all. Okay, so if you have just joined in, so I'm very happy that, you know, Focus Point, we are working with Mia Care today for the collaboration. And in, when we are introducing this product called Mia Care Confidence, I want to do a very special giveaway and I will be giving you something that I personally love very, very much. So if uh, you want to know what is this, you have to stay tuned. Okay, let me just open this up. This is actually a very nice pouch containing a universal adapter. Okay, so this will be given to you if you participate in our giveaway session. So let's make it simple for the first round, yeah? Nothing too technical, no technical questions. Okay. Just to share with us what kind of skin tone you are. So like just now, Anne has uh, shown us the right way or the preferred way that you can use to check is actually look at the wrist. Okay, right below your wrist, this portion here, the color of your veins. So what you have to do is just like, share and also comment in the comment box below what is your skin tone so we will choose a few lucky winners and you will be walking away with this very nice universal adapter if nobody wants the universal adapter then i'll be more than happy to bring this home with me yeah so okay. we can see that Anne is already doing the eye makeup yeah correct so over here um, we added a brown because she's a warm tone person so brown is actually more suitable for her mm -hmm. yeah and because she has droopy eyes so i'm going to actually increase so that her eyes looks you know lifted okay mm, that's really interesting it's good for me also because i can learn some makeup technique um i'm kind of a very conventional and boring person i only know how to do makeup in one style eyeliner also in one style Color matching also only in one shade, which is brown. So this is a very good chance for myself to learn as well from N. Yes. And I would also like to take this chance to share with you. So today when we are talking about this um, color contact lens right here, what makes this product so unique? First and foremost is the material that it's made of. So it is made of what we call a silicon hydrogel. As compared to a conventional soft contact lens, a material that is made of silicon hydrogel, it can actually enable you to wear up to extended hours. So it is very common that we have a slightly longer working day nowadays. For myself, I would say my typical working day could be more than 10 hours. For Anne, do you think you work more than that? Definitely. Um, with, with what I do, sometimes it, it's more than 10 hours a day. Yes, especially yeah. when, you know, Anne has to handle some uh, shooting, you know, video Correct. shoot or photo shoot as well. You know, a typical working day could be more than 10 hours. And it's very important that you are wearing a material that is very breathable. It allows a lot of oxygen to reach to the cornea, which is actually the outermost layer of your eye. So that is for the high um, comfort and also for the safety and health of your eyes. And on top of that, there's something very unique about this contact lens. When I first read about this contact lens, I realized that they, they are using two different kinds of moisturizing agents. And one of these agents is something that females, you'll be very familiar. This is what we call the hyaluronic acid, or as in Mandarin, we call it Po Niao Suan. So if you remember that advertisement for Hada Labo, Ni Yong Le Ma, Poing Poing, yeah, it's that uh, moisturizing agent. And as we know, hyaluronic acid, it is very good in terms of keeping your skin moist and also supple. So this thing also works very well when you want to keep your contact lens uh, wet, moist and also comfortable to wear throughout the day. And on top of these two benefits that it has, right, 
we don't really see a lot of contact lenses in the market with UV protection. And this product happens to be one of the product that comes with UV protection. So I know some of you who are watching, you may be wondering right now, but Vivian, for a contact lens, right, it doesn't really cover the full eye or it doesn't cover the areas surrounding the eyes. So this may not be a full protection for UV in terms of the whole eye, but what it does is within the contact lens itself, it already gives you the coverage and also protection against UV. So it will actually minimize the amount of UV that is going into your eyes through the pupil as well. Okay, so this is something very unique that I really love. Okay, and then... Wow, that yes. was really fast. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so what I did... Um, so what I did, I started off mm -hmm. with for Carmen is... Because she has some eye bags under, under her eyes. So do yep. I. Yeah, so I use a lighter shade of concealer to cover those eye bags hmm. and because she has little blemish here I used a green concealer to cover the redness of her blemish so yeah. let's say if you are covering up any um, dark circles dark we should circles, use something that is one shade lighter lighter yes hmm. but for redness blemish you know pimples sometimes we have redness it's the one in green so a lot of concealers that people wondering what's the green one for yeah, I've yeah. always wondered and we also have something like, you know, slightly more pinkish Correct. and sometimes I do see like purple colour concealer. Correct, yes. So what does so purple do? The purple is actually similar, it's mm -hmm. actually to uh, also just to cover the, um, because people have different skin tone, the cool and the warm. Yes. Right? So the purple is actually for the cooler tone person, yeah, the redness. Okay, so you see, I've again, I've learned something that's very useful for myself. Maybe I can try purple tone concealer. Okay, so for the eyes, right? Okay, so this is a, a, a sample of a warm tone palette. Mm -hmm. Okay, a lot of browns. Okay, and what I did was I, I combined three colors. So I first I shaded the outer with um, a lighter shade, white. Normally, what we call the base of the, the base, eye makeup. So, to highlight the eye bone here, the brow bone. Okay? And then I use um, a medium color to actually over her eyelids. So, higher. So, when she opens her eyes, open your eyes. Yep, you can see there's a, there is color. Okay? So, when she closes her eyes, I use a darker color for the outer part and the eyelids closer to the eyelashes okay all right so when you're applying the eye makeup right, you should try to fill up the eye socket with color is it correct yes because so you there, use there a are blending times where brush. i use eye makeup and i realize you know when i'm doing it looks like there's a lot of color but once i open my eyes you can hardly see the eye correct. shadow so people there are many many um colors uh that people come with all shapes and sizes of course the eyes as well so some people have hooded eyes mm -hmm. so if you have hooded eyes when I you mean, put when you put on eyeshadow, when you open your eyes, your makeup is not visible. Yes. So you must draw it higher. So with hooded so eyes, you must, must go correct. Higher, right? It goes higher. So always bear in mind because we, we are afraid. So just do higher and then you, you must experiment. Okay? Hmm. And I think we have the winners for the first giveaway already. So that is very fast. So... Um, I will just read out the names. So, number one, we have Zaliha Taib, Jason Yong, Punkodi Murugam. We also have um, Nadia and also Alia. Okay, so congratulations, winners. So, for the prize redemption, all you need to do is just contact the number that is pinned in the comment section below and our customer service will be happy to assist you. Okay, so we have a question on, um, we have a question. The first question is actually for Vivian. How long can the, can contact, it, lens the contact lens last? Okay, so let's say for example, if we're actually talking about this product in particular, so this uh, Mia Care Confidence that we are showcasing today with the six styles of colour, it's a monthly disposable. So that means within a month, you can always reuse the lens with proper care and also maintenance. 
Okay, the second question, is it suitable for dry eyes? Yes, because um, like I've mentioned just now, you know, it comes with hyaluronic acid as one of the uh, moisturizing agent, point, point. So it's very good for keeping the lens moist and it's very good for dry eyes people as well. Okay, so for contact lens, right, is there an age limit? An age limit that uh, one can wear contact lens? Or mm -hmm. am I, you know, do I reach a certain age, uh, I'm too old for contact lens? Is that? Um, to me, it really depends on the individual. Um, I have a lot, when I was still in practice, I have a lot of customers who come to me, you know, when they start to develop a bit of uh, reading uh, difficulties towards the age of 40 to 50, and they ask me, Vivian, can I still wear contact lens? The answer is, you still can wear contact lens, okay, but provided that you get a proper consultation. So what we need to know is we need to know about your lifestyle. Correct. Whether you are using your vision more for distance, for near, and we are able to recommend the right product to you. We also need to assess the condition and the health of your eyes to ensure that you are a suitable candidate for contact lens. Yeah. So I wouldn't say age is a limiting factor, but you know, just come in for a consultation and let us advise you on the products and recommendations. Good advice. All right, thank you, Carmen. Okay, thank, thank you, right. Kaman, for you being Kaman with us for today. Having... Yes. So, Anne, I'm also very, very curious because I've seen that, you know, the amount of makeup that you put on Kaman is not to say a lot. It's very minimal. It's very suitable for Correct. a daytime makeup. But it makes a lot of difference as in I can really see that the eyes are very defined and there's just a top of colour. Correct. So, with makeup on... When you're using contact lens, the makeup does not need to be um, a lot. Okay, mm -hmm. you don't need to uh, put too much because the contact lens has already enhanced your look. Okay, it's just adding on extra to just elevate that look. Okay, so a day makeup. I what I did for her earlier was a day makeup. So brown, um, easy to go to work, a daily wear. Yeah. Okay, so if she would like to, even at elevate it further for night look like transform to correct. a night look she right? can actually add some gold shimmer some gold shimmer and that would actually bring it to the next level because at night usually the environment is dark mm -hmm. so the gold shimmer will actually make bring out that the features yeah, that and features all that in her okay so that is also something that's very interesting okay so we have uh, another question um, from the audience. Does the skin analysis affect what clothes I wear? Yes, indeed. Okay, so warm and cool skin tone person, right? So many times I get this question, people asking me, um, this colour doesn't suit me. For instance, green or yellow doesn't suit me, correct? That's me. Yeah, so yellow, um, there, there are many tones of yellow. Mm -hmm. So even mustard, the colour of mustard, the yellow, mustard yes. yellow, is actually a very nice tone. I believe oh, yes. mustard yellow is the only yellow that I dare to wear. Yes. Otherwise, you know, um, I'm always in black. Even in my office, my colleagues and friends, they call me the woman in black. You don't have to guess. Let's say there are five working days in mm -hmm. a week. Out of the five days, four or five days, Vivian will come to office dressed in black. Because black. I'm, I'm always very afraid to try. Because I feel, um, for me, for myself, grey colour, blue colour, green colour, black. The darker it is, the better it seems to look on me. Really? Okay. Th what you can do is actually explore with colours. So that, that's actually a different topic altogether. However, mm -hmm. just to keep it short, um, everyone suits every colour. So there are four seasons to the colour. Uh, winter, spring, summer and autumn. So that you must identify what, which tone suits you. Some people may not... Uh, it's not suited for pastel colours. Mm -hmm. Some pe people muted colours will make them look old and it's dull true. and you know like um, they, they're drained out or they, are, they look sickly. How so about like for a cool skin tone like myself because I do realise that when I try to wear something that's very pastel or very light, I look a bit washed out in a yeah, way. You should, clean colours actually works good on you. That means it's brighter. Mm -hmm. like, so navy, blue. Yes, uh, one more, of my favourite other than yes, black. Yes, yeah. uh, red. Red, the red really? is not red. the... Yes, red. So wow. red, there's chilli red, there's maroon red. So what I urge you is actually to go, go, when you go out shopping, just try it on and actually look at yourself in the mirror. 
Okay, trying it on the best way is when you're facing a mirror, the color of the cloth should be next to your face. Next to your face to see, so you can see the the tone, the mm -hmm. difference, and whether this that color that particular color suits you. Yeah. Yeah. I think that is very informative, and I also learned a new tip as well. <laughs> but let's say for myself, right? If I if I were to try something, a different style of makeup, or just looking at my makeup today, mm -hmm. do you think there's anything that can be improved? Okay, looking at your makeup today, perhaps maybe a little more on uh, contouring on the cheekbone, okay, to make your cheek look a little sharper. So the ideal face shape that everybody aims to to have is the oval face shape okay so contouring maybe doing a little bit of shading uh, on your cheekbones to just make it look sharper is that around here yes yes so it will go down from the the hairline mm -hmm. and it goes downwards okay not too much not too much and the other mistake is people make when they do shading on their chin level below the ear you go under not above Okay, ah, if you okay. do above, it will look like you have a, a, a shadow, a silhouette like this. Here. Yes, correct. So, so what we should under. do is un identify your jawline. So it should go under the jaw. Correct. Um, be back of your ears, downwards to the back. Yeah. So it's somewhere here. Correct. And contouring is something that's very new, right? Because I only learned about this in this recent few years. Correct, correct. Contouring is actually uh, started, I think, in the US. Those, yeah. Made famous by <laughs> yes, Kim yes, Kardashian. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes if contouring is not your thing, you can also just go with blusher. Blusher actually also can enhance your cheekbones. Yeah. To give it a lift. For Asians, sometimes we may be a bit concerned. Um, if I do contouring, you know, will my makeup look very dirty or, you know, like, you know, Correct. will I because see shades or lumps of brown. brown? Yes. It's actually, you, when you do contouring, it's good to have a good blending brush. So the brush is the one that blends in to, blends in with your complexion, your skin. Yeah. So you, it's important to have a good bl blending I brush see. when you're doing contouring. And we have another question here. Um, any makeup product for eyes that is suitable for contact lens wearers? Okay, so for first, for beginners, right, I would recommend if you are first time wearing contact lens, is to go for actually cream-based eyeshadow. Mm. Why cream-based eyeshadow? Is because cream-based eyeshadow, when you put on the cream base, there was no particles that fall into the eyes. It is more compact and dense in a way. Correct, and it's also longer lasting. Okay, so if you uh, if you use cream based eyeshadow, it actually um, you are taking care. Your lifespan for your contact lens is also longer. You stretching out the lifespan of the contact lens. Mm. Yeah, in the way that you know you don't get any makeup particles because if you are handling, let's say for example, eyeshadow that is in a powder form. Yes. More often than not, when I was still in practice, I will always see people coming in maybe um, red eyes, irritated eyes. So when I do an inspection on their eyes using the sit lamp and also the surface of the contact mm -hmm. lens, what I usually found is on the surface of the contact lens, I can still see like, you know, particles of shimmer and sometimes wow. I believe oh. it could be, you know, um, you know those Stain. lash extending mascara. Oh, yes, the fibers from the lash. Yes. Um, uh, those, those mascara, yeah, right? mascara because now there's extension mas uh, mascara Correct. and waterproof mascara I would say avoid that because once unless uh, you're professional or very seasoned uh, contact lens wearer and makeup doing makeup you want to avoid that because once the waterproof stain your lens mm -hmm. It's going to stay there, right? It's going to stay there and sometimes you notice that after a while you didn't reach the 30 days of the contact lens wearing, your, the vision is a bit blurry. The comfort yeah. could be reduced as well. Correct. Yeah. So that's very true. If you really want to um, enjoy the full lifespan of your monthly disposable or any reusable contact lens, it's very important to have like proper lens care as well. So avoid, uh, like what Anne has mentioned, I'm going to summarize a little bit. So avoid those uh, lash extending mascara with a lot of small fibers because the fibers could transfer onto the contact lens. Correct. If you are new to applying eyeshadow or if you want to experiment, you can start with a cream based one rather than a powder form. And try not to use a waterproof 
eye products. Yes, correct. Okay, so the other thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have a question from. Okay, I got a chubby cheekbones. What colors to apply to make it look slimmer? Okay, so for chubby cheeks, right? Like um, me. <laughs> yeah. What you want to do is uh, you want to use a more brown tone. So more do you brown have maybe some peach. sample colors yes. that you can show yeah. us today? So see, you know. So you want I'm to also go trying to help you here, yeah. <laughs> so you can actually see the difference in terms of the color. So maybe we hold it up so that Correct. the camera can okay, see so as I'll, well. I'll do a difference. Mm. I I do see one is a bit more pinkish in color. Yes. Right. So maybe so we more bring pinkish. it uh, up. This looks way more pinkish, and that has a brown tone. Yes, more brown tone. So for a warm, warm skin tone person, or someone I usually who wants would to go, use like a slimming yes, effect, right? I would go for this because this brown, brown to peach tones are better. I will look better in it. Unlike the pink, the pink would actually make me look rosier and you know chubbier. Yeah. Mm, yeah, that's true. It has that very um, brightening effect here. Correct. And if you don't want to highlight your cheeks, if you think that you know I, I want to actually make it slimmer, you may not want to make it pop. Correct. Up. And also the mistake that people put uh, do with blusher is they they tend to put a lot of colors on the front part. So when they smile, the, you can see there's a block of shade on your cheeks. Okay, so you want to focus outer part, yeah, towards your hairline. So do yeah. I apply in an upwards motion when it comes to blusher? Do I apply it upwards? You can apply it downwards. Oh, yeah. I see. So I've been so doing makeup if, wrong. <laughs> if you apply it upwards, mm. the front part will be darker and the top part will ah, be lighter. I see where you're going because if I'm doing in this motion, the colour will be yes, very so dense right yeah, here. Yeah, if you're putting your brush, you're dipping your brush in. Okay, you're putting the colour. And then you put the front, you go up, you sweep it up. So your front will look very, very bright. Okay, as compared when you start upwards, down. And come down. Yeah, so you will highlight your so this hairline. Part. Yes. Okay, good for you because I have very short hair. You can actually see the hairline <laughs> yes, <laughs> very yeah. clearly as well. Okay. Yeah. And another personal question from myself. Yes. You know, because um, if you haven't noticed by now, I'm actually wearing grey colour uh, from the Allure series. So, I just want to know, right, um, I'm already wearing a wing eyeliner. Wing eyeliner, which means uh, if for any of the male audience, if you're watching right now, and you are wondering how many types of eyeliner there are, many wing types. is like that, which means that it's something that's going upwards, okay, like yes. a wing. Yeah. Okay, so, this is what we call a wing eyeliner. So, I'm already wearing a wing eyeliner. So, is there any other way that I can, you know, make my eyes pop up a bit more? Because I, I always realise that I have slightly hooded eyelid. Okay. So, I just want to make myself look more alert, more awake, less sleepy, okay. less tired. Okay, so with hooded eyes, right, what happens is when you apply the eyeshadow and when you open your eyes, it will seem like you did not put any eyeshadows on. Mm, let me show you if I close my eyes. Yeah. You can actually see there are plenty of colour here. Correct. But what happens is when I open, you can hardly see much colour okay. left. So what, what you need to focus on is for hooded eyes, you should actually increase the eyeshadow upwards, higher towards the brow bone. So on your eyebrows, there's a bone there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So Somewhere here. Expand the eyeshadow all the way to the brow bone. In this case, you did not um, expand it out all the way up here. So another half uh, cm would would be good. Yeah. So that's the reason. If I close my eyes, you can see the colors are there. Right. So you know when you are applying makeup, right? Especially for the eyeshadow, you you have to do it on your closed eye. So you'll be closing your eye and doing, and after that, when you open, and then you realize, no, I can't see any color at all, and yeah. you start adding. But not knowing that the right way to do is actually to bring the colour upwards. Correct. Correct. So just to um, elaborate a bit more. So this is what we call, you know, like the eye socket where it's more sunken in. And yes. above that, there is a brow bone. Yeah. So you can actually feel that it's a bone here. So what just Anne meant... Just below yeah. the bone. Below okay. the bone. You so should extend actually it up. 
put more eyeshadow to it to cover that area to cover that area so that when you open your eyes it can actually you can actually see the color Mm. And yeah. Anne also mentioned, right, on the brow bone, we should do a bit of, uh, is that called highlight? Yes. So on the brow bone, just below your eyebrows, you mm. should, before you put on your eyeshadow, you should actually put on a white base mm. color. Yeah. So you can actually see that there's a lift in your eye, eyes. So it's before you put on your eye makeup. Correct. Before. The first is to highlight the highlight, mm. which is actually more white mm. base. And for somebody who has a cool skin tone like myself, right? Mm -hmm. What are the colors that I can play with other than brown? You can Safer actually, colors to try with. You can actually uh, play with blue. Yeah, the blue. However, you should actually explore blue that is not more closer to the um, muted, muted. Mm, the more muted blue, not correct. anything that's too bright. Yes, correct. Yeah, not the light blue, sky blue avoid that okay so it's more on the muted blues and also you can actually go with purple but not too dark of a purple because then it will look like yeah, yeah like I, somebody just punched me yes, correct. <laughs> because yeah. i did that mistake once you know i did like you know um it's very in trend right now it's a bit purple pinkish eye makeup and somebody was asking me vivian what's wrong with your eye your eye seems swollen right. in a way and also what i would want to uh, advise is also because we live in a country which has humid weather mm. and um, most of us you know i myself i have oily skin okay so Same goes for during me the well. day i usually i avoid entirely um, palettes uh, eyeshadows that has shimmer so the shimmer may look nice however not for me and for the, the weather. I see. Yeah. Because um, when you start to sweat, then the it shimmer looks blue, yes, blue, yeah. the it will look like you have you are your you have oily skin. Yeah. I think the same goes for highlighting as well, right? Because I've heard so much about contouring and highlighting. Yes. So I usually do not highlight because I within half an hour my 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 skin will start to have oil coming up so i i very am very very careful with highlighting which i don't do mm -hmm. so be aware of your skin condition oily if you are oily skin do not highlight because mm. it will look shiny and you can use a matte foundation as well right yeah okay so, we have so another Vivian, question so i love right? your color lens but can i wear this for a lot for long hours Yes, actually you can. Uh, like just now I've mentioned, uh, again, let me show you this again. So we are actually uh, talking about Mia Care Confidence. Mm -hmm. This is a monthly disposable silicone hydrogel color lens. So the material itself, right, makes it um, enable us to actually wear for extended hours. So instead of the usual 8 to 10, it is fine if you want to wear more than 10 hours, provided that you use the right lens care. Um, and also the soaking solution as well. Okay, so do I have to actually sometimes, you, you know sometimes mm -hmm. if I wear over so long, for mm -hmm. such a long, do I need to have any um, eye drops? Yes, you actually you, can because um, in Malaysia, because the weather is very hot, so for some people when they're in the office or when they're driving, they tend to blast the aircon right, or the fan aircon. directly. Yeah. So I have also have a lot of friends who ask me, Vivian, I don't feel comfortable when I drive with contact lens. It's very dry. Mm -hmm. It's because most of the time, um, you know, the aircon is blasting directly at you. Mm -hmm. And it is somehow like drying the contact lens out. So what you can do is you can go to any pharmacy and look for those um, lubricating drop that is designed for contact lens usage or artificial uh, lens, Te uh, artificial, Te artificial tears. Artificial tear, okay. So I always get mixed up between the artificial tear and those, you know, eye mo for yes. eye relief irritation. There yeah. is a bit of slight differences in terms of um, what we call the pH and also the ingredient as well. So there are some eye drops that are thicker in consistency. So you can do a quick test. So for example, if you're not sure, you can first, of course, read the label, check with mm -hmm. the pharmacist. Otherwise, if you have a bottle of eye drop and you are not sure, what you can do is you just put a drop. If it's of a thicker consistency or if it's very viscous, like gel-like, okay. it is probably not so good to use with your contact lenses. It may actually blur the vision a little bit. So oh, um, the eye drop that is designed for, to be used together with contact lens is normally more watery ah, and not I so see. No thick. Wonder, yeah. 
Yeah, and it's very interesting that you mentioned that because actually for Mia Care, right, um, in their packing solution, the pH of the packing solution is actually very close to our human tears. So which means if you are wearing your contact lens fresh from the blister pack, you don't get that stinging sensation. You know sometimes okay. when you wear a fresh pair of contact lens, you get that stinging, yes, yes, yes. burning feel for the first few seconds. So it doesn't happen with this brand as well. Okay, so we have a next question. If you have floater in the eyes, can you use contact lens? Um, okay, so uh, let me first uh, let you know a little bit more about floater. Yes. So floater is um, a very common symptom that a lot of people may experience. So what happened is inside our eyeball, right, mm -hmm. there are something that it's, um, I would say something like a jelly. Okay, and it's actually holding the shape of your eyeball. Uh -huh. Okay, so sometimes um, as we age or if there's any trauma, what happened to this jelly is it may actually become a bit loose some of the cells may become loose and these cells are the ones that float around. So oh. when you are talking about floaters, it can be as simple as I'm looking at the sky or a white mm -hmm. uh, uniform background and I'm seeing something like a jelly moving around. Yes, so those are I floaters. that. Yes, so yes. It's is it okay to have contact lens? It is okay because um, like what I mentioned, floater happen because of the jelly-like substance in the eye. And when you are wearing contact lens, it's on the outer eye. So what you need to do is, if, if you observe any floaters and it's disturbing your vision mm -hmm. in a way, mm -hmm. all you need to do is just tilt your head up um, for a few minutes for these loose cells to settle down. Okay. So it will be out of your center vision and you will not feel so disturbed. Good advice. Okay, and I think now it's time for the second giveaway. So let me show you again, you know, this is what we are giving out. It's a very nice universal adapter, comes with a very nice pouch as well. So for this time around, we have very limited unit. So if you want to get your hand on this, please make sure you like, share our Facebook live post and answer my question. So. What do you think I'm going to ask you today? And you want to guess? What am I going to ask? Maybe something about makeup? Mm, <laughs> maybe instead of makeup, let me ask you something about contact lens, okay? Contact and lens. I want to test whether you have been listening. listening. Yes. So um, just now I mentioned one of the moisturizing agent that is used in Mia mm -hmm. Care Confidence is what is it now? Is it uh, something that has the initial HA? So if you want to win this very nice adapter, just leave your answer in the comment box below. What is one of the moisturizing agent that is used in Niake contact lenses? Okay, and let me give you a hint. It has something to do with Hada Labo. Toy Toy Ni Yong Lama. Okay, so if you want to win this, like, share and leave your answer in the comment box below and we will announce the winner very soon. Great. So you yeah. Okay, so we have another question uh, coming in. And how do we know if we are allergic to any of the eyeshadow or eye product? Okay, so eyeshadow and eye products, right? In fact, cosmetic mm. in a whole. Uh, many people do not know this. They actually have a lifespan. They have a lifespan. I have to admit, uh, my eyeshadow palette is more than three years old. <laughs> okay, so if you notice when you buy the packaging, there is a little tiny um, that look that has a, a, a logo of a round, uh, like a container with, they either put that 12M, 24M, yeah. Yes, I've seen that before, but I never knew. Correct. So that is actually an indicator of when you open that product, same like similar to contact lens, you have 30 days. Mm -hmm. This is also um, a lifespan of your eyeshadow. So if you notice, a lot of times people say, oh, I think it's the product that don't suit me. But actually, perhaps that product has actually been left there for a long time and then they used it. Mm. Okay, so it can uh, cause allergy as well to the skin. Yeah. So does that mean if I see 6M, it means 6 months? 6 months of usage only. Correct. So many times when we buy our product, we throw away the box. Yes, Which that's actually very true. the label is on the box. So perhaps you can indicate, uh, do on a, a note 
note somewhere mm -hmm. or on the label itself uh, with a permanent marker. Uh, That's on, a very good yes, idea. Yes, a permanent marker, uh, indication on when, when it is open or the expiry date, the Same, future yeah. date. Same yeah. thing goes for like eye drops because we always ask you to indicate, you know, um, once you open, just put a remark, uh, let's say for example, a date or a expiry on the bottle itself using marker. So Correct. you will know that, you know, if this product is going to expire or is already expired. Correct. So many times the, the eye solution, mm -hmm. right? I always notice that sometimes after a while when I use it, it's kind of sting my eye. You know, after you know uh, usage, so I think perhaps the indication of it has exceeded the limit, the um, the time. Yeah. I think that's very informative. And um, can we also test, like, um, do a skin test? Because I always see people doing, I know, skin tests of like makeup and skin care. So is it advisable to do that okay. before we try in, any new products? Skin, okay, immediately you won't see a reaction. Mm -hmm. Okay, with makeup, it's tough to see a reaction immediately. Okay, how it happens is when you buy the products, you go home um, and then after testing, after using it for a day, and then you will see there's redness that is, you know, um, that you're, you're uncomfortable with it or there's some rashes that occur. So, what I would say is for certain brands, cosmetic brands, you can get samples. You can go and get, uh, get them to do tests. Um, I, yeah, I know, at those makeup tests. counters, right? Yeah, the makeup counters. So, don't immediately, I'm sure all of you have your uh, makeup but if you have time, you would like to test on the products first, do a test and then, you know, come back another day. Yeah, because makeup, uh, with makeup, it, there's no way you can know that whether you're allergic immediately. Yeah, that's true. Maybe, yeah. you know, after a few hours of wearing and you start to feel a bit of itch Correct. or irritation, that's when you know, right? Correct. Okay, and we so also we have... have um, our actually second giveaway winners. So maybe um, Anne, you can help me to announce. We have five winners. So uh, the second uh, winner, the second round for the winners. Um, the first one is Alicia Amani. The second one is Nantini Murthy. The third, Siti Hamida. Fourth, Veronica Lin. And number five, B Hong Tan. Congratulations again, winners. So you know what to do. Just contact the number that's pinned in the section, comment section below and our customer service will get in touch with you. So before you think that that's everything that we have to share today, I would also like to share with you a very special promotion that we are offering to you. And this is only available to the first 20 people. 20, eh? 20 saja. Eh? Kalau 21 tu, Vivian tak boleh bagi, eh? So, if you want to know more about this promotion, okay, don't forget, you know, you like, share our Facebook uh, live post. And how this promotion works is very simple. So, we are actually giving you a very good uh, promo price to try out this product. So, we will be running this promotion where you purchase three boxes of Mia Care Confidence monthly disposable color cosmetic lenses. And we will give you one box for free. So, that will make a total of four boxes, which is actually two pairs. And on top of that, we will actually give you a 10 ringgit Aeon voucher. And you will be able to enjoy this bundle deal for only paying 120 ringgit. So if you are very interested to try this product out, what you need to do is you just need to text the word Mia Care, you know, as you can see. Text the word Mia Care to the number that is pinned in the comment section below and our customer service will be in touch with you. So what if I don't know um, my power? For instance, if I have a power but I'm not sure what is my current power. Okay, so yeah. um, let's say if you have a contact lens box, what you can do is you can snap a contact lens box that you have right now and send it to a customer service. Otherwise, uh, we greatly encourage you to walk into any focus point outlet, get your eyes checked and also get your consultation with our professional optometrist. Thank you. Okay, so I think uh, that's all for the session today. Uh, and do you have any take-home message for us? Um, I think my take-home message is actually to actually uh, step out of the box and just ex explore. 
That means take the chance to actually um, do your makeup, even try on color lens if for those who have not tried, and actually um, just explore because we, we don't know if we don't try. Yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> So, you know, thank you Anne so much because myself, I feel very inspired. So instead of just sticking to brown tones or just sticking to yes. black colour or very dark shades, I may want to, you know, try things out a little bit, try some different colours and, you know, also accentuate my eyes with, you know, a very good contact lens. So don't forget, if you want to experience this with our promotion, so just WhatsApp Mia Care to the number that's pinned in the comment section below. So on behalf of Focus Point, thank you Anne for being here with us today. Thank you Focus Point and Mia Care for having me today and thank you Vivian. Okay and thank you uh, for all of you who have been watching. So um, let's stay tuned and I hope to see you soon in the next session. Bye. Bye. See you.